Drawing from cinema's greatest ensemble heists, Monaco gives you the chance to fill the shoes of various skilled professionals sneaking and stealing your way through the city's wealthiest landmarks, alone or with friends. Should you join this nefarious crew or remain an upstanding citizen? The premise of Monaco is easy enough to understand. In each level, you need to slip past the guards, grab all the valuables you can find, and make your getaway. Where Monaco differs from many stealth games is in the limitations it puts on the player. Even though you play from an overhead perspective, your vision is restricted to line of sight. As you explore, hallways and fixed objects get sketched in as a blueprint, but you'll need to adjust your view to track patrolling guards or sweeping lasers. It takes time to unlock doors and recover your health, so it pays to be aware of your surroundings and take care when seizing your moment. There are many advantages to leverage, but your approach will depend on which thief you select for a particular job. Not everyone can knock a guard out with their bare hands. That job is reserved for the cleaner. Before each level, you have to decide whether you want to open doors and safes faster with the locksmith, collect coins more easily with the pickpocket, or dig holes through walls with the mole. There are eight criminals in all, and while some like the disguised gentleman or the charming redhead make it easier to pull a solo heist, others like the lookout find their true value in playing with a group. You'll also come across a variety of tools stashed away in each level, including smoke bombs, tranquilizing crossbows, and lethal shotguns, but that doesn't mean you can just shoot your way through the game. Each item's usage is limited to the amount of coins you collect, and getting careless with gunfire often causes more problems than it solves. Stealth is the smartest approach, and you can take advantage of your environment in a number of ways. Finding a uniform lets you disguise yourself, or you can climb into vents to avoid detection. Hacking or shutting off the power can help you bypass automated traps, and thorough players can even find hidden doors. Combining these tools and talents provides a number of ways to tiptoe through each location's pitfalls, but it's easy to get tripped up in a web of disaster. Enemies will only search the last spot you are seen, so if you keep your cool, you can hide just out of sight. However, the sense of panic comes easy, and attempts to flee around blind corners often send you straight into the line of fire. Dying alone means you'll have to choose another character and pick up where you left off, with only four chances to get it right. Playing with a group of two to four thieves brings as many challenges as it does advantages. Of course, there's much to gain from covering more ground or coordinating skills, and a savvy hacker on your team can be a lifesaver. On the flip side, one mistake from anyone can stir up the whole hornet's nest and spread terror through the group like wildfire. You can revive a fallen crook, but resurrections take time. A skeleton inconveniently lying under watchful eyes can mean curtains for you all. It's certainly trickier to keep everyone on the same page, but sometimes another player's terrified dash is just the decoy you need to lure the guards away. Monaco's main plot consists of about 17 distinct levels in all, but it's not as small as that might sound. You're encouraged to replay levels to improve times and performance, and there's a series of tougher, remixed maps reserved for players who nab every last penny. Depending on how careful you are, some levels may take 20 to 30 minutes to clear, and that's not counting the first three or four failed attempts. Before you know it, you've sunk more than 16 hours into this little 2D stealth game. While the boxy, top-down presentation is quite simple, it carries a lot of charm through small, thoughtful touches. Male characters can take advantage of the restrooms, and civilians call for the guards in humorously thick accents. What really pulls the game together, though, is its piano-driven ragtime score, shifting in tempo to mimic the player's state of mind as you transition from stealthy, suave sophistication to the frenzied panic of having your cover blown. Monaco can be rather stressful to play as you try your best to pull off the perfect crime. Some of the later configurations of eye lines and laser beams border on being unfair, but it can be satisfying whether you find the best approach or just throw caution to the wind. If you're feeling stuck, you might see a heist in a whole new light with a different character or an extra player. This arcade-style take on stealth takes a careful balance of planning and execution, and even if it's not quite a perfect crime, it's still a pretty darn good one. See all of our shows and game reviews now on the brand new GT app on Xbox Live and the GT Originals iOS app too.